Good morning, Texas AFT. This is Zeph Capo, President. And I'm Tony Malone, President, Bastrop Federation of Teachers. And we are here at the Capitol to introduce our legislators to our respect agenda. Our respect agenda means paying our school employees what they deserve and improving the conditions under which they work. We're asking for an agenda, in our agenda a minimum of a $10,000 increase for all of our certified teachers and professionals and a 15% increase for, for our support staff. But we've heard time and time again from our teachers and others that it's not just the pay. We've got to do a better job of improving the working conditions and learning conditions of our students. That means stop putting a stop to the uh, class size waivers that districts consistently uh, ask for. Our elementary teachers need to have that additional time, particularly with all of the reading academy and additional requests being made of the legislature. They need to have small classes. Our students deserve small classes so that our teachers can teach and our students can learn. We also uh, are pushing for a defined work year and work day for our employees. You should know when you sign your contract for the year what your pay is going to be, how many days you're going to be asked to be asked to work that year. There should be no surprise Saturdays. There should be no uh, sorry you have to stay after school. Our teachers and school employees have kids of their own. They have second jobs. They have lives that they have to build around. And it's unfair uh, for them to be taken advantage of in addition to it lowering your daily rate of pay each day that you're required to work unpaid. We've got to put a stop to that. We've got to make the conditions uh, better for our school employees so that we can stem the staffing crisis because ultimately when our students have two, three, four, ten, twelve different teachers in a year, it hurts them. It hurts their educational learning practice and frankly it makes it even harder for the teacher that is finally is there uh, with them for the rest of the year to help make sure they're on point to where they need to be. Let's work together during this legislative session Let's use some of the th almost $33 billion surplus that we have to improve pay and working conditions for our hardworking school employees and staff and make sure that our public schools are, are the bright places that our kids want to learn and our, and our parents want to send them. Thank you.